Ed, obviously that crash unsettling news for tourists across the country. The company that operates the duck boat tours here in Boston says it is constantly reassessing safety. Dozens of firefighters race to save lives as victims lay bleeding in the roadway. We veered out of control and then we hit this bus here and uh, just spinning around and people were being thrown out of the duck and things like that. The four killed were riding on a tour bus when witnesses say the duck appeared to lose control and crash into it. Something like this happens to one company, it affects the whole industry. What I say? Boston Duck Tours was one of the first in the country and CEO Cindy Brown was just in Seattle last year collaborating with operators there. I know the owners real well, you know, my heart goes out to them, but I, I know that they work their butt off trying to do a great tour and a safe tour. When we hire a new driver, we require them to go through about eight weeks of training. In Boston, training is rigorous and maintenance is meticulous, the company says, with 18 full-time mechanics inspecting 28 vehicles. And the duck boats here do not travel at high speeds. Because the traffic often moves very slow here in Boston, if we're involved in a fender bender, it's that's all it is, is a fender bender. By having the best vehicles, having the best drivers, the best trainers, the best mechanics, we do, as, as any company should, everything that we can to be safe. And we have not seen a duck boat crash like that here in Boston. For this company, no fatal crashes in its 21-year history here. We're live in Boston tonight. John Atwater, WCBB News Center 5.